Okay, so we're going to go over a couple of basic uh, neuro exam techniques. So let's look at the eyes. So first, um, we're going to look at eye movements. So get a good close-up of his eye movements. And let me just get you to follow the pen without moving your head. You have to look up, look down, and go nice and slow. Good, and then follow it into the nose to get to accommodate. Very good. Now we're going to do uh, visual fields. So I'd like to ask you just to cover up one eye if you could. And tell me if you can see my finger moving. Yes. Yes. Okay, now you got to just keep follow it. Look at my nose, see if it goes anywhere. Yes. Follow it. Look at my nose. You see my finger wiggling? Yes. All right, point to where it's wiggling. Which side? Both. Good. All right, now cover your other eye. See that wiggling? Yes. Here? Yes. Here? Yes. Yes. Very good. Now, I'm going to check his pupils. And just get you to look straight out. And shine a light there. Shine a light there. And then a swinging flashlight test. Very good. Now, check the facial muscles. So squeeze your eyes real tight. Don't let me open them real wide. Good, open them wide. Good, let me see a big smile. Beautiful. And stick your tongue straight out. Good. And testing his hearing. Can you hear that? Yes. Can you hear that? Yes. Now, if there was less hearing in one side than the other, we would do a Weber test. I use this tuning cord. And do you hear that in the middle or one side or the other? No. No. Okay. And then the Rene test. Tell me which one is louder, number one or number two? Number one. So. <laughs> That's not good. Number one or two? It's not two. It's not. How about this guy again? One or two? Two. Yeah. Two. Okay. Good. Otherwise, you'd have a conductive hearing loss. And can you shrug your shoulders up? Good. And then I usually will do a pronator drift move. So hold your hand out like this. And close your eyes, and we're looking to see if his hand turns inward or not. It does not. That's great. And then take one finger and touch your nose, and touch my finger. Good. The other hand. Good. And can you take your heel and go up and down your shin? Perfect. And then test his sensation. Now this ideally should be done with a safety pen. Is that sharp? Just make believe it's sharp. Yes. Good. Yes. You can check light touch. You can, can you feel that? Yes. Good. Vibratory sense. Is that vibrating? Mm-hmm. Here? Mm-hmm. Good. Go in position sense. Close your eyes, please. And that's down, and that's up. Mm-hmm. Which way is that? Down. Up. up. Good. This one? Up. Down. Good. And we'll check some of these muscles, but we don't need to at this point. And then just... Reflexes, biceps, brachial radialis, triceps, compare them on both sides. C5, C6, C7, then knee jerks, and C7, 
with ankle jerk. The knee jerk is usually the easiest one to get. And if they have any difficulty getting it, you can have them hold your hands like that. And then I say three, pull against one hand against the other. One, two, three. And that'll bring out the reflex and degen drastic maneuver. And you can check up a bitch speed by scraping the bottom of the foot and seeing which way the toe goes. Okay, good.